Hello everyone and welcome to Simple Recipes. Today I'm going to do a recipe requested by Dagmar and this one is one of my favourite baked chicken recipes. It's a soy and ginger baked chicken with a puree of cauliflower and a few green beans thrown on top. And it is so easy, I think you'll really, really like this one. So let's get on with it. So the first thing we're going to do is marinate some chicken and I've got a couple of chicken thighs, some legs and some wings and we're just going to add a tablespoon of orange juice to that, a tablespoon of lime juice, a heaped spoon of honey and a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce couple of tablespoons of olive oil and of course our ginger which has been grated and I've got a um, crushed garlic here and a pinch of salt and some pepper okay so now I'm just going to mix this all through and um, if you can do this at half an hour, so be it. But if you can do it well before that, like a day before, that's great. A couple of hours before is okay as well. So um, I'm just, we're just going to leave this to marinate. So we're ready now to put the chicken in the oven. And I've, on an oil tray, I'm just going to put the chicken skin side down on the tray. And we're going to have this put into an oven at 180 for about half an hour and then the, and then 15 minutes at about 220 and this will give the last 15 minutes will give that crispy skin effect and about halfway through the marinating uh, baking stage we're going to marinate the chicken with this uh, marinate again so I'll just stick this in the oven. All right, now we're on to the cauliflower puree and I'm just going to add some butter to the uh, pan. I'm just going to throw in a uh, clove of garlic and uh, I'm going to stir that around for a couple of seconds and some fresh thyme. And then we're quickly going to add our cauliflower which we're just going to coat the cauliflower and the with the butter and the thyme and the garlic mixture I'm just going to add some pepper and salt and I've just chopped this cauliflower into small florets as you can see and um, this this is just doing it this way it's just going to the cauliflower is just going to infuse with the, the, the garlic and the thyme and the butter in there and I'll just add say half a teaspoon of salt and some freshly ground pepper we'll pour about 200 mils in there and just before it's finished cooking when this goes soft I'll add a just a bit of sour cream and get that bring that up to a simmer and let that simmer for about five minutes until the cauliflower is soft nice and soft I'll just put the lid on and we'll come back in five minutes and that should be done so here we have the meat after half an hour and I'm just going to turn that over and turn the oven up for it to about 220 Jeez, that's looking lovely and that will just crisping up those outside skins so you've got a nice crispy chicken so we just put the rest of that marinade on pop that in the oven for another 15 minutes so let's have a look at our cauliflower that looks just about right it's nice and soft we're just going to add our sour cream 
We've got a two tablespoons of sour cream. I'm just going to mix that through and we're just going to blend that. You can do that in a food processor, a stick blender. So that cauliflower took about uh, seven minutes to cook and go soft like that. So we're now going to blend this cauliflower puree up. So that's been blending for about a minute and a half, two minutes and that's a uh, really beautifully smooth consistency and that's just a delicious cauliflower puree. I'm just going to put our beautiful smooth creamy cauliflower puree and then we're just going to add a our beautiful soy and honey roasted baked chicken and some beautiful green beans on the side and there we have a wonderful honey and soy roasted chicken on a creamy cauliflower puree and some nice freshly steamed green snake beans so that's it for me and I'm going to get stuck into this so I'll see you next time on Simple Recipes